Welcome back, George here. Today I'm trying something a little different. I am going to review an episode of The Twilight Zone. Now, if you've checked out any of my other videos here on my channel, if you've kind of gone around, you'll probably have seen a theme that I am a big fan of the show. I've talked about it in other videos. It's just one of my all-time favorite shows. There's, there's lots of elements about it that there's just no reason why it shouldn't be one of my favorite shows. In my opinion, was a series of short films. I mean, they were TV episodes, but they come off, in my opinion, as short films in a genre that I really enjoy. And also, it was run and created by, and most of the episodes are written by, Rod Serling, who is one of my all-time favorite writers. So there's a million reasons why I respond to the show. I think it's really great. And I thought, you know what? I'm not going to do a film today, but I do have time to watch an episode of The Twilight Zone, and let's talk about that. And I'm very excited. So I picked the very first episode, the pilot episode, and it is called Where Is Everybody? Of course, it was written by Serling. It was directed by Robert Stevens, who directed two episodes of The Twilight Zone. He directed another one in Season 1 called Walking Distance, and I'm looking forward to talking about that at some point, because it is a good episode as well. But this one is a really great, creepy story. So it stars Earl Holloman, who I like him. He's a character actor that's been in quite a few things. I did cover Forbidden Planet a while back, and he's in that film amongst many other things. And so he stars as the main character in this episode. And basically what it is, is he wakes up. He doesn't even wake up one day. He's just strolling around on, on a deserted road, more or less, and he ends up in this town. And it turns out that he doesn't remember who he is. He's got amnesia. And, of course, as the title suggests, where is everybody? There's no one in this town. And it does... The great thing that Twilight Zone does, it gives you that creepy factor. It gives you that, what is going on here? There's some strange, nefarious thing at work that we don't know what it is until we get to the end of the episode and we find out. And uh, it turns out that he is just not feeling this isolation very well. He's not taking it very well. The fact that he's all alone and he doesn't know where anyone is and he doesn't remember who he is and why he got there starts to, as the episode unravels, he just starts to lose his mind more or less and the isolation gets to him. That's the overall theme of the story. But the ending we find out, and again, if you're worried about spoilers or anything, I tend to want to talk details about the, the subject I'm talking about. And uh, so I will put this out there. If you've never seen this, I'm going to spoil what the twist is. Uh, go see the episode and come back if you, <laughs> if you don't want that. But we find out that he is in an isolation booth where he's training to go on a mission to the moon. And it's an interesting thing because as the episode mentions, he's been in this booth for something like 20 days. A long time. And it's that time he spent in the booth that more or less, toward the end of that 20 days, his mind cracked. And it concocted this scenario that he's alone in this town. And there's really nothing supernatural about it. It's just his mind, his imagination created this. And that's what's happening. And it's interesting because the way the story uh, spins it, they're experimenting on whether or not a two-week trip to the moon, somebody can go there and sustain their sanity long enough to come back. And this was done at a time before they really knew how long it was going to take to get to the moon. Now, we know now that it doesn't take two weeks to get there, and they've never sent just one person. They've always sent a couple of people. You know, so at the time, you know, the idea that it would take one person two weeks to go to the moon, orbit it, and come back wasn't very far-fetched. That was kind of the prevailing theory at the time. And so this episode plays into that. Very good stuff. All right, I got the clipboard of creeps here. I'll throw a couple of things at you. So um, the set that they shot this on 
was a set that has been used in many productions over the years, and one that I found that was most noteworthy is Back to the Future. So the Hill Valley town in Back to the Future was actually the same set where they shot this episode. That's pretty cool. And uh, Tony Curtis was offered the part of the main character, the, uh, the, the Mike character in this episode, and uh, he wanted too much money. So they didn't go with Tony Curtis, and that's something. And another thing that I caught that was pretty cool was he goes into this drugstore, and there's this book rack, the spindle, and all the books on it are The Last Man on Earth. Now, it's done because he reads that cover, and he thinks to himself, you can see it in his face, great acting by Earl Holloman, by the way, that, am I the last man on Earth? And he kind of freaks out and runs. And that was actually a, a book by Richard Matheson, who was another great writer on The Twilight Zone and another one of my all-time favorite writers. And the book he wrote is most notably known as I Am Legend, but it's also gone by the title of Last Man on Earth. And so it was kind of interesting to me to see that book worked into this pilot episode of Twilight Zone, knowing that Matheson is going to eventually be a very big presence on the show. Really cool. All right, so that is my look at the pilot episode of The Twilight Zone. Where is everybody? Very good, excellent kickoff to what I consider to be one of the best shows ever. And going forward on my channel, I think I will cover more of these. It's really easy for me to sit down and watch a half an hour episode versus an hour and a half or a two hour movie. It's just easier for me to do that than than watch a long movie because my time is very limited. As you noticed, I haven't been posting a lot of videos lately and that's simply because I've just been very busy. But I think I will do some more Twilight Zone episodes. I really enjoy it. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for tuning in. And until the next time, have a good one.